SHOT Show 2022 at the Versicary booth with the lovely Dana. Yes, Dana. How, how are you, Dana? Doing good, how are you? you? Well, I'm doing even better now. I kind of stumbled across some of your products here. And uh, uh, I just, if you would, give us an introduction of the company, please. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I'll kind of walk you through our timeline here. We've got an awesome timeline that shows how our company started, where we originated, and where we're going. Uh, so our owner, Justin, sits lost everything in a house fire, and his first purchase afterwards was a pistol. His first thing to do was trying to figure out how to comfortably carry that pistol every day. This is where he invented the Zero Bulk, what we now call the Zero Bulk. This over here is going to be the first original prototype that he made in his kitchen out of a drunk drawer, and how he came up with the concept and the ideas. Started in 2011. This is going to move you down the timeline of how we started making these things. They went from being handmade to being injection molded. We started getting into more products in the firearms industry and trying to evolve. We started getting into what we now are known for as our water buffalo leather. It's a very strong, premium, durable leather. We make holsters and accessories and belts out of. Moving along over this way, we started getting into some of the polymers. We do polymer embedded holsters, custom molded holsters, and full polymer holsters now. This over here is actually going to show you all of the materials that we currently utilize within our building and our shop. We have leather, we have foam, copper, polymer, and some molded plastics as well. Very good. So I've got some holsters up here that's going to show you some of the things that we've done before and what we're getting into this year. So we do have some full leather holsters that are going to be great and going to be able to help you mold to your specific firearm. We started diving into polymers with this holster here. It's our compound outside the waistband holster. This is our first ever polymer embedded holster that we made. This here is going to be a polymer on the insert in between two layers of leather. So it's not going to come in contact with your firearm, but it does give you all the rigidity and the retention of that Kydex without it coming in contact with your firearm and harming it and taking the finish off of it. It's going to give you adjustable retention as well. So six months down the line when that holster may have loosened up just a little bit, you're able to get it back perfect for you. And frankly, the pattern is a bit striking. Yes. We moved into the, what is now our Comfort Flex Deluxe. We did this last year and it was one of our top sellers. You can see a little bit of that embedded polymer in here as well. This one is going to be an inlaid. Same thing where you don't have it coming in contact with your firearm. This is where we started diving into our what is now our Comfort Padded Foam. It's an extremely soft, plush padded backing. It's great for inside of the waistband. It's very, very minimal and it keeps you very comfortable all day long so that way you're actually able to carry on yourself all day long. How well does this material hold up? Very well. So this is actually made out of what you, you see in like your, your college football helmets and that kind of like padding in there. Same thing, it's not going to build up and it's not going to sink with sweat over time. It's resistant to that and it's really, really comfortable. So it'll be resistive to like your salts and what have you yes. that are in sweat. I think, well, I've actually had pretty good luck with, with leather holsters in, in, well, I've had pretty good luck with leather products yeah. against the skin. Um, my first thought is, you know, my sweat's going to chew this up and dissolve it. Yep. But but it's the same material inside football helmets, which yep. are known for yeah, sweaty heads. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this year, now that we've gotten into some custom molded polymer fronts, we took our Comfort Flex Deluxe. We had a lot of comments people that love this, love the leather, but they still want just that extra step, and they love that Kydex click and the extra retention that it gives it. So we took our Comfort Flex Deluxe with that padded backing and actually added on our custom molded front here. This clip is going to give you an adjustable cant, adjustable retention. It's extremely comfortable because it takes that padded backing as well. But now you've got a custom molded specifically to your firearm. Moving on, this is our Obsidian Deluxe holster. Now we have some fully custom full polymer holsters all the way around. These are going to come in a variety of make and models. I don't quite have the hand strength for Kydex, which is why I love leather. <laughs> but this here is going to show you adjustable retention and it's got a grip adjustment. It's going to take this clip and you can actually move it over to this side. What that's going to do when you've got your firearm inserted is it's going to tuck that grip back into your side once you move this over here. Cant it back into you so it's not yes. sticking out too much. Yes. Very good. What would uh, suggested retail be on these pieces? So our compound outside the waistband holster retails for $74.99. The Comfort Flex Deluxe retails for $59.99. Comfort Flex Custom retails for $59.99 as well. And the Obsidian Deluxe retails for $34.99. Very good, and of course there's a plethora of other products yes. that the company makes. Uh, obviously prices available online. Looks like you're one of the lovely models in the, uh, <laughs> the video series that you have there. Um, how did you like that, uh, that, uh, uh, that Ruger uh, Mini 14? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's one of my favorites to shoot. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite handgun? 
Uh, so I actually carried a shield for the last three years. Uh, I've recently got into the Hellcats. I'm a big SIG fan, I'm a big Springfield fan. Uh, the Hellcat, just especially the RDP, very, very into it. Uh, it's one of my new favorites. I'm actually carrying that now in our Comfort Flex custom. Very good. And yeah. you know, kind of uh, very sad that uh, Spr uh, Springfield and that SIG didn't uh, uh, arrive this year. Yeah. I think, you know, SIG did a, a real stand-up thing. They made the announcement early and made a contribution. Um, and uh, unfortunately, several other uh, manufacturers didn't show or at range day. Um, so yeah. hopefully things will turn around next year. Yeah. Um, on a little more personal side, favorite adult beverage, if any? I'm a tequila person. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. Do you like it uh, in a mixer or do you just like it straight up? Uh, I'm a, a tequila on the rocks kind of person. Straight. I, I do enjoy a margarita, but I'm a tequila on the rocks kind of person. <laughs> you like the, I'm trying to think of there's like three versions, right? Mm -hmm. Three levels. Yep. You, you always go for the top tier. Oh yeah. Of course. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very good. And uh, <laughs> might as well ask too, do you uh, ever imbibe a, uh, a cigar along with that tequila beverage? I actually have never had a cigar. We will have to have. change We're doing that, that for you. Tonight for the first time. Are you really? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, outstanding! I yep. was just going to say we'll have to change that for you, but it yep. looks like that's already in the works. Yeah, fantastic. Got I would experience Vegas. <laughs> yeah, now uh, I, I'll just recommend because I have helped. Uh, well, I, I have some lady friends and. You know, they will enjoy a cigar from time to time. The Acid Line has an infused uh, version that is very pleasant on the palate, especially for someone who's not smoked cigars and hasn't yeah. developed their own technique. Um, and, you know, there's there's a lot, and, and that's an infused tobacco. It's not dipped, it's not oh. sprayed with any flavoring. Yeah. So anything un other than the tobacco that you might taste yeah. is infused. And some of the other top tier cigar makers do the same thing. They're not wow. spraying it or dipping it, which a lot of people think that that's what they're doing. But it's, uh, uh. it's a kind of a nice way to kind of get into it a little bit. Yeah, I like definitely art forms that I'm really interested to learn about. We're going to one of the bars that like teaches you about all the all the different kinds. And oh, that's going to be very fun. Go through the whole experience. Very yeah. good. Well, Dana, it was an absolute <laughs> you. pleasure. You take Thank good you. care. You travel safe. Well, Thank enjoy you. that cigar tonight along with your tequila. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one.